Hey, have you ever heard of a game called Cruelty Squad? Little Company? I can't remember. Uh, Cruelty Squad, Lethal Company. That does sound like Lethal Company. It when does. I started thinking about it, I was like... Cruelty Squad, Lethal Company. But Maxor is back with Cruelty Squad. And uh, apparently... Squad is usually a smaller group of people in a company. Mm, yeah. So Cruelty Squad is apparently a normal game, according to Maxor. I mean... Yeah. Something about this being a video by Max Lord makes me not believe that. Yeah, I, I'm I'm sort of on don't the fence. I don't know why I would feel that way at all. I don't know either. Hmm. It's almost as if there's previous examples where... Everything he's ever literally said is actually the opposite of what he means. Exactly. <laughs> uh, well, anyway... Cruelty Squad is a normal game, and I guess uh, we're going to check out, see what kind of craziness Maxor has gotten into with Cruelty Squad. I mean, I don't got anything else to say. I don't know what else to say. All I'm going to say is, let's get into it, and let's see what kind of uh, see what kind of game Cruelty Squad is. And it's got up on screen, and here we go. I am genuinely serious about the epilepsy warning. Cruelty Squad is a profound and enigmatic stealth shooter that's very nice and respectable. Oh, really up to do. What? That UI. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh. Oh, oh yeah, this was in a, a video essay video. Someone mentioned it in a video essay video I watched at some point. So they were talking about the UI and how it was just like... Not normal. <laughs> you know, like, a video essay video. Is that different than an essay video essay? Uh, my brain looping itself. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. It I'm was sorry. just a video essay. Yeah. <clears throat> a video game video essay. Yes, video game video essay. Yeah, they were talking about horror really? stuff and how this game was just creepy because things about it are just off. There's several games I've come across that are like that. Mostly, mostly shit on new grounds. And out of deep respect for the source material, I will be editing a video that looks as beautiful as Cruelty Squad. Acid trip? No. This is going to be an acid adventure. Set in a twisted and dystopian society known as capitalism, where landlord phobia is a thing of the past and the value of human life has plummeted so low, it's negative. We play as an esteemed person of wealth who is tasked with the assassination and suffering of anyone unlucky enough to be in the same room as me, but progresses to dark and sinister revelations that result in the death of five separate gods including yourself. Listen, I know this game can be a Damn. little bit confounding and difficult to interpret. The messaging is just so deep. But don't worry. I've played this game for hundreds of hours, and I still don't know what's happening at this. Jesus, hey. You know, it's hard to understand what is added by Maxor and what's actually in the game. I found that a lot with the types of games he plays. Yes. So I was thinking of the same thing when we were, when we were watching his... Uh, Ultra uh, Kill? Yeah, Ultra Kill videos. Yes. He, he picks styles that are so similar to the game he's playing to edit with, you know. He's really good about that. Also, am I the only one that felt slightly nauseous after watching that intro? <laughs> yeah, I, I felt it a little bit. Ooh. That's a lot of sensory overload. Welcome to Maxor videos. So the game begins with our concerningly red protagonist experiencing wet when we receive a most unusual phone call. Hey, what's poppin' little incel? Ever think about playing God? Uh, no. Well, I do, so listen up. <laughs> we, we, we need to... Look, I know things have been hard after your lobotomy, which is why I feel comfortable giving you a gun. So, uh, welcome to the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We shoot people for actual money. Oh, sweet. How much? <laughs> I didn't say your money. Your mission is to assassinate the business world's finest in increasingly deranged bouncy castles and, uh, alternate dimensions. Just, like, don't think about it too hard. Okay, but I've got one question for you. Can I watch the static channel? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> 
taking the first step on our quest to literally eat the rich, we come upon the realization that, uh, this is what the game looks like. All the way down to the abnormally large picture frame that is present at all times. It also changes. Yeah. Yeah, the, I, I, I noticed that and I was thinking to myself, if that's around the video, like the game while you're playing it the entire time, that would probably get a little bit annoying. <clears throat> that, yeah, I mean, I didn't actually notice it though until we drew attention to it. I noticed it like as as soon as he started showing stuff from the video game. My eyes is just always been immediately drawn to this shape in the top left with the number next to it that I think maybe your health meter possibly or something. Maybe. It looks like a kind of like a sort of like a heart, but kind of also like a Disney logo, but Lovecraftian or something. Yeah, <laughs> deformed Disney logo, Lovecraftian Disney logo. Yeah. It's based on whether or not we have a soul. So, if you die too many times, you will be disconnected from the light of God, cursed to roam the earth as a mass of writhing flesh. Also, I can, uh, eat dead bodies now, so I guess they have good taste. This game's graphics are not just terrifying, they're consistently terrifying. And there's no way of telling whether or not something has a deeper meaning, or if the devs are just fucking with you. Me publishing the 10-hour video essay on killing my landlord. I wonder what it could possibly mean. Case in point, the reload mechanics require you to yank the mouse backwards like you have fucking conniptions. This represents how hard it is to do anything in this game he's like a dvd player visiting the meat room we up uh, oh my god why is there a meat room what do you mean i can't reverse the process i would like to go back now visiting the actual mission this time we notice that the rest of the game is worse than that on like a fundamental level you see each mission has many different ways to approach and all of them are completely fine and normal looking sometimes a mission will have you navigate the inside of a building making your way downwards through many mysterious do doorway before depositing you up uh, back of the roof again this this doesn't help me at all my favorite part of this mission is definitely the gigantic meat shaft no matter what you do do not meat shaft. the giant meat shaft is his favorite part wow some people are into that Eat the pills that make you go up second. Judge. Worst mistake of my life. So after giving Big Pharma a taste of their own medicine and devouring the evidence, we make our way into the most organized neighborhood in Houston, which just so happens to be shaped like a pentagram. Welcome to Paradise City, one of the most normal levels. Is in that where the is that where the grass is green and the girls are pretty? What the fuck? That is terrifying. Everything about this has just been odd, disturbing. Containing within it a myriad of fun destinations, like the church that was converted into a pizza store. What the fuck did they put in the walls? The orphan eviscerator. I feel like they were constantly what rolling is. dice on like what assets they were gonna pull out of their folder, folder to put where. My God. But at the same time, I feel like there's some kind of more maniacal like purpose behind <laughs> the placement of everything, I guess. Maybe. Like they did it on purpose. Like I don't know. Try, uh, intentionally put forth the effort to make everything look as like off-putting as humanly possible. Probably. The uh, dark world and the accurate recreation of Bin Laden's uh, actual compound, which I Jesus. immediately rammed into with my Hyundai Sonata so I could catch a bite with the big man himself. Driving very responsibly to the next target. Traffic jam? Well, I've never tasted it. We encounter the funny lady whose pathfinding forbids her from entering the street. My guy really does not want to jaywalk in this neighborhood. Just got to, uh... D d uh, d uh <laughs> killing the man with his hand. I was say... It's like killing her make like makes her like bowels empty and the smell of it is so bad it literally melts the other guy. Just got what just happened? He shot her in the head, she exploded, she starts emitting noxious gas, oh. then this guy, upon smelling it, he dies and then <laughs> turns into soup. This game is amazing. Killing the next man with his hands behind the ground, we move on to the coolest and most regular house in the neighborhood, as is evidenced by the, uh, uh, KYS, keep yourself safe, con- <laughs> I think we all- The game really just went there. Yes. Hans Yurt's site. Uh, that is, that is an interesting wallpaper. It makes me feel so protected and safe. Oh. Yeah. I can imagine, dude, imagine us playing a prank on Kate. And like putting that all over her wall when she like while she's asleep, and then she wakes up and sees that. She's gonna murder somebody. Yeah, I'm not doing that to her. I'm not that mean. <laughs> True. 
Oh, looks like you've got quite the collection here, buddy. Funko Pops. Oh, you've taken a liking to my Funko Pops. No, I haven't. Amazing, isn't it? That they embrace me despite my flesh. For the packaging is eternal and pure. Uh, I will be as the lion and as the Nephilim. If you kill me, my soul will ascend to plastic. Are you okay, man? Release me from my corporeal flesh and I will become as the... Uh, sorry, buddy. That was a slippery slope fallacy. Yo, I'm gonna have what this guy's having. That, uh, oh, <laughs> my entire world has been, has been. There's no fucking way. There, there is no fucking way. So it turns out if you keep falling for ten minutes, the game uh dislikes that. I got a real case of the heebie jeebies. Oh my god. The rest of this mission is really fun, especially when I figured out I could sell the organs that I found. But I couldn't help but notice that something was a little bit off about the. There. Oh, damn. The, our internet doesn't even like this. Yeah, the internet the is internet just, just like I can't process what's happening. Right the now, in, so the, I'm just gonna the, stop working. The internet literally was just like. It literally just committed die. So a contest between myself and you and the internet on who has an aneurysm first from this game. Apparently the internet wins. Yeah. Or loses, depending on your perspective. No. The internet <laughs> wins. Now it doesn't have to tolerate this bullshit anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm having fun with this, but Jesus. This game this game looks nightmarish. I mean, not just nightmare, but literally like nightmare, 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 nightmare. Yeah, it's trying to reconnect, and I don't know what the fuck is... There it goes. We were having trouble over on that computer the other day when Jacob was here. Yeah, the internet down here is a bit weird. Like the collection. Okay. So, we were about here. Peace. The rest of this mission is really fun, especially when I figured out I could sell the organs that I found. But I couldn't help but notice that something was a little bit off about the town catacombs. Every city in America has to have one. So, while getting inspiration from my next creepypasta video where Mario comes out of the pipes... Yes! This is the... You know, when I heard about people who made, like, these very disturbing games, and they posted them on the dark web, so because it was the only place you could post them, this is what I imagine that to be like. <laughs> really. This is what I imagine. Kills me. We descend oh, I just saw it. It does say life up there on that. Oh, it does, yeah. When it pulses, you can see the word life in it. Life. Okay. I'm guessing the lower left is ammunition of some kind. Probably. Ran into the... Uh, oh. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> like this, aren't I? The Dark Wolf. Hey guys, welcome to the stage that closed its eyes. Known for its many visible landmarks, like the eyeball sun or the transmission towers. Really big fan of the that's more like the moon with how dark it is. Yeah. Also, much light. also, I see these and I immediately like imagine Siren Head yeah. just coming running at me. Like, <laughs> just run you over like a freight train. Ball sun or the transmission towers. Really big fan of the microwave ASMR that permeates the entire level. Just don't play this at the very end of the game, otherwise, uh, I want God death. It literally says death now. <laughs> I want God to come down and explain this to me. <laughs> to come down and explain this to me. This is actually giving me a migraine right now. So after killing people in the pitch darkness, like the game is trying to censor itself, we make our way to the ominous glowing mansion where we can roleplay as American police by slaughtering the entire dark world population. This is... the shittiest game of Where's Waldo I've ever seen. Hey guys, Max are here, and today we're gonna be visiting the, the pulsating meat. I think this planet might be better without light. Uh, hey buddy, you know you can't just walk in here and kill people, right? Oh yeah, uh, says who? The police say that, actually. Oh, a to my floor. <laughs> I'll show you an ad hominem attack. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. 
So after escaping our banishment to the Shadow Realm, we journey to the headquarters of the Gamer Subs Corporation, where we can try their delicious energy drinks for a fraction of the price. But before we can do any of that... I was say, man, Gamer Subs is good. Also, Glitch is really good. You should try it sometime. We need to steal a forklift and use it across the ocean. I don't think Osho's a... Dude. That tracks. Uh, hold on, hold on. Before we can do any of that, we need to steal a forklift and use it across the ocean. First, Maxor, I have to ask this. Are you forklift certified? I I don't think he's forklift certified. I've driven plenty of forklifts in video games and I've never been certified. That's, that's an OSHA violation right there. I don't think Osho's a, on board with this one. Howdy, stranger. You aren't from around these parts. Hey, Badger! <laughs> I know that voice. Are you? That's okay. Me and my ominous friends in the sky love having visitors to our humble abode, especially after bringing us an entire forklift. How did you? Never mind. There are many more fish in the sea, after all. So please, take my long, sturdy pole and practice the art of the Pisces to your... I wonder, but like, I wonder how many takes Badger had to do of this reading just to make it sound normal because he was probably dying laughing. It doesn't he, even sound that normal. He's kind of like he paused, like my long sturdy pole. <laughs> so please take my long sturdy pole. My long sturdy pole. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wonder. It's like he kind of like realized what, what he said, but probably started laughing, but just cut the laughing. <laughs> I just thought of something. What if this isn't Badger? What if this is that AI Badger that Skulker made? <laughs> what is it? What if this is the AI Badger that Skulker made and we're being fooled right now? <laughs> what is life? What is real? Who well, is not AI voices? Who is the real Russian match? Practice the art of God dang it, Spencer! Don't do this to me. The Pisces to your heart's content. Uh, thank you. And don't worry, we will be watching you every step of the way. I, I kind of don't want to fish anymore. Finally, alone with my thoughts, I soon realized that each fish I caught was worth more than beating this mission, and that each of them has a speculative value on the stock market, which I proceeded to trade on for the next 30 minutes. Not actual stocks, mind you, just the fish. I even made a literal fish index just fund. The fish. It's what the sky demons would have wanted. So we head back to the Gamers Up's link in the description, where we find a 10% discount on delicious energy products, most of which comes in this cool powder, so uh, please don't snort it. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a second. Don't tell me. Is that the most of which comes in this? Is that what I think it is? That's Guacamole Gamer Fart Nine Thousand. The, the T Rex. The T Rex and the Caveman. I see it, my dude. You have chosen wisely. Cool powder, so up. It was a good flavor. It tastes a lot like Baja Blast. Yes. Uncarbonated, but Nick can fix that with the yeah, soda stream. Yeah, if you have a soda stream or you just want to buy some soda water, I highly recommend like mixing it with. Like, obviously, you can't stir the soda water; you'll stir the carbonation out. But like, you get like a little bit of water, like in the bottom of the cup with the with the powder. Yeah. And then like we have like one of the little things that you click and it goes and spins like really fast. Mm -hmm. Like, but if you just mix that water at first, then add in the carbonated water. Like, oh, yeah. You basically got Baja Blast at that point. It's really good. It is awesome. What the fuck is this text shit? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, God, it's on the floor. These are all of the updated dissatisfied customers along the way discovering many amazing flavors like Sigma Brain, Grandpa, t t t Grandpa's Ashes. Or <laughs> the fact that that's an actual flavor makes me laugh. Just a um, lean. Yes, that is the, that is that is an actual name. flavor. That's uh, who's that? I heard who this that was. I can't remember. I think that might be Schlatz. No, Schlatz is titty milk. Oh right, right, right. So yeah, I can't remember whose that is. Damn it! Wait a minute. Is this two Mads? No, I don't think so. Damn. Hang on, I just the cover. Google it real fast. Okay, Nick is. Nick is doing a Google.
Or is that just one of their new flavors that... Yeah, this might just be a... So it's in collaboration with the group chat podcast. Oh, group chat podcast. So... Who the fuck is the group chat podcast? Now I'm curious. Hold on. Dude, seriously? Okay. Yeah, I know I know these guys. Yeah, Yummy, Willie, Larry, Grunk, uh, uh Big T and Isaac. I know these guys. Powered by Gamer Subs. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with who they are. Uh Yummy uh plays with the goons a lot. Larry. Uh all of these guys are streamers and uh YouTubers in their own right. The little green bird with the toilet hat looks familiar. Isaac, yeah. I'm on a mission to yeah, a he's already got a million subs. So everyone here basically has a million subs, I think. Let's see, Willie. Yep, Willie's got a million. Yes. <laughs> yummy, yummy, I think. Yep, yummy has a million. Figured that. Then, Grunk. Grunk has 66k. Actually, he has 66.9k. Nice. Larry Croft. And then Big T. 262. Yeah, so these, uh, yeah, so all these guys. Wait a second. <coughs> okay. Yeah, he hasn't posted anything in like two months. That's, that's crazy. Anyway, sorry. Uh, enough about. Uh, the group chat podcast. Let's get into this. Or let's get back into this. <laughs> that is Joe Biden on the cover. Bad and naughty children get made into the guacamole gamer fart flavor. It's <laughs> so cheap and affordable. So after ascending the literal corporate pyramid, we assassinate the CEO <coughs> for his devious role in the making of this video, leading us to be arrested by the police for all of the criminal deals you can find in the description. Cool is like... <laughs> Epi <laughs> the year is 2024. The police have formed a self-serving cult who conspire to get away with the killing of Dark Walters. Now it's up to us to offer the police chief a 12-gauge diversity seminar who took so many steroids that he is transformed into a bouncy castle. This level is a borderline nonsensical collection of rooms where even the slightest noise will cause an absolute cavalcade to chase you down the halls like Avenger the scooby doo Oh my guy. god. Take, for instance, <laughs> this room. I, okay. Am I interrupting something? I'm yes. I'm down an actual club guard. Fuck the police? Eat the rich? Uh, no. Eat the fucking police. Look, all I'm saying is... Eat the police. Fuck the rich. Wait, what? There ain't no song called Fuck the Post Office. Here we got the, uh, basketball court. I, uh, d d what is my camera doing? Oh, I Jesus. I believe I'm having a stroke. Here we encounter the actual brain tumor experience. An enemy whose primary attack is making the game impossible to play. I normally don't get motion sickness, but, like, Jesus Christ. Let's hope the next level has, a uh, really cool enemies that are equally as fun to play against. Epoxy <laughs> So after deflating the police chief, we are sent to the shopping mall so we can befriend the President of the United States. Along the way, visiting the many benefits of modern consumerism, such as the Punishment Store, which sells the amazing cubes that cover the entire screen. The game, E, which sells a <coughs> realistic depiction of a panic attack. Yeah. A real... Screen. The game... The gam... No, it's not game, it's gam... E... E, which sells a realistic depiction of a panic attack. Man, I would kill for a copy of Garbino's Quest. It is the world's only video game. Oh well, guess I'll have to go to the gun store instead. Uh, why? Don't come to the mall tomorrow. The pizza cathedral. <laughs> 
slash wallpaper store, the <coughs> other punishment store, which sells the uh, Funko Pops. The plant shop do be having plants escaping into the mall and killing everyone. It is only a matter of time. Gun and gear, which seems to be a... What did I uh, say about coming to the mall? We need to get out of here. <laughs> and of course, Donut World, which is filled with the police officers. Needless to say, this level is really big, with a variety of... Is actually called Donut World? I think it is. About coming to the mall. We need to get out of here. And of course, Donut World. Yes. We literally is. actually used to have a donut shop locally that was called Donut World. We uh, had really good donuts for a while. You know I mean? We also used to have a Krispy Kreme around here. Yeah. I was sad when it closed down. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has. Donut World, which is filled with the police officers. Needless to say, this level is really big, with a variety of routes that don't really result in your death as much as guarantee it. My favorite example being the, uh, the... Hey there. Oh god, we need to get in the elevator. The noise is just so terrifying. Uh, I guess I'm safe. You are never safe. Uh, I don't death think he's, he's, uh, uh, going away. Oh my god, he's still making that sound. Dropped by games, games only to find out they're all out of... Uh, <laughs> he, he found my address. Is everything okay? <laughs> so after sneaking around my enemies really carefully, I, I think he's a, a little stuck. We dispose of the presidential Evangelions and secure a meeting with the big Biden on campus. This is where he tells us his amazing plans to impose a 1% income tax and stop turning the water into fry oil, which I have to say is really landlord phobic of him. When he says something so wealth phobic, you gotta hit him with that CEO stare. Also, fun fact, if you head outside the map, they just uh, put Elon's face as a texture. I just wanted you to know that. Exiting the Jesus. level, we notice that the friendship of the president has caused the stock market to exponentially increase with no upper limit, causing my fish index fund to increase in value indefinitely. I uh, would invest in GameStop, but it has uh, become a side wave. Very, uh, very volatile prices. So to maximize our earnings, I decided to get up from my computer and eat dinner. No. And when I came back, I had accrued the funds to buy everything in the entire game. I feel like this counts as some sort of tax fraud. Yes. Tax fraud. I, I, if there was one YouTuber out there who I knew would be guilty of tax fraud... It would be Maxor. And also Jay Schlatt, probably. So, after buying all the game's upgrades before the government can tax me, we head back to our unassuming abode to unwind and watch my favorite YouTube channel. Pick up the fucking phone. Uh, hello? 95 counts of market manipulation. Five million dollars in untaxed earnings. Two billion counts of rape. And you somehow managed to buy an onion future. Oh shit. There are federal agents outside your house. So if you want out of this shit, you're gonna have to earn it. Okay, but uh, can I shoot my landlord? What? This has nothing to do with <laughs> Taking the opportunity, CEO grind set. Ah, just evicted another six rentoids. 18 if you count the children. Can't believe so many single mothers could fit in the same room. Also, I'm gonna be uh, adding a 300% visitation fee to your rent. Unfortunately for this man, I am a dedicated Maoist. My actual landlord is gonna swap me after he sees this. This apartment is certainly very complex, both spatially and geopolitically, on account of the ominous towers in the distance. With most. <laughs> You know, say, it, you know, it'd be uh, awkward if you go into those towers and you run into the building manager and it'd be like, uh, sir, what's your name again? He goes, Osama. Most hallways either leading to a maze of wonder and mystery or just taking you straight out of the top floor. Uh, so this is certainly a room. Every apartment has one. Life, uh, life, life has many doors, fed boy. <laughs> <laughs> life has many doors, Ed boy. We did it, guys. We, we found the doorway. Uh, cool, it's uh, two uh, normal towers. But worst of all, this level makes us interact with our neighbors, which wouldn't be bad if the level didn't sound like this. How about we just go talk to this guy? What the fuck? This guy's got fascinating things to tell us about. I don't think I'm, I'm allowed to repeat this one. Oh, well, you got me. I am a dedicated Maoist, after all. Don't worry, fellas. He's just writing a tweet. Very black, suppositoried, and debased of him. 
Oh, Jeez. he was uh, keeping a slave. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. So we get away with a minor misdemeanor and several dozen deaths, then move on to get some fun and relaxation on the high seas. Hey, hey sorry, buddy. That was a uh, funny prank I just pulled. Uh, 49 people are dead. It turns out tax fraud's been legal for 10 years, so uh, no hard feelings. <laughs> well, I guess rich people can get away with anything. We prefer the term people of wealth. Now, if you're ready... <laughs> Uh. uh, let's go kill some rich fucks. Welcome to the world's most beautiful and secluded getaway, where there are no authorities to hear your screams. And screaming there will certainly be, as half the population of the ship is actively begging for death. <laughs> I think their microphone is broken. And while we're on the subject of begging for death, it's time to talk about what I spent all of my insider trading on and why it was a really bad idea. You see, Cruelty Squad allows us to purchase a number of upgrades, but most of these upgrades are objectively bad. We've got implants that slightly change the game's contrast, transform me into a oh. fucking golem, spend $1 million to ruin the game, use a radio to play any song from this game's amazing soundtrack. Uh... W what is this what the kids call a uh, slurp core we have lost the ox privileges ruin the game with increased contrast bring the dark world into every world and completely break the game by swinging outside the map and killing the target through the floor this amazing feat of game design is wow possible with an augmentation known as the grapendix which true to its biology uh randomly kills you. The Grimandix <laughs> allows you to attach yourself to walls, attach yourself to ceilings, trampolines, people on the street, and of course, uh, the bullets that you fire. Transforming the game from a quirked up stealth shooter with a little bit of swag into the Mach 5 nightmare that I have always wanted to play. And that isn't even mentioning the Bio Thruster, which by emitting a disgusting amount of goo at a disturbingly high speed, completely bodies any sense of pacing or level design. And it's the best shit ever made. Just, uh, be careful on the way down. Uh, what? Okay, so apparently every single level just has a room like this. It's just like a real cruise ship. So after collapsing the nearby pool by flying into it, this fucking guy just uh, doesn't give a shit. We Commit gamble die. our life savings for a little too long and have to pick up all the coins individually. 90% of players uh, quit before they make it big. Better, better keep gambling just to be sure. For the next stop on our enjoyable vacation, we decide to take a trip to the nearby alternate dimension where we can relax and admire the many disturbing entities like the Bubble Buddies or the Anomalous Hot Tub Zombie. Oh my the Bubble um, Buddy guys are probably the least disturbing entity I've seen in the game so far. Yeah, I would say so. Die. I guess I'm not going to open that door. Uh, and, uh, you, got, you guys having fun over there? We can also check out the secret underground maze of unusual layout and sinister implications. Uh, I was going to say earlier, and I, I don't think I've seen anything to disprove this yet, but uh, I think this whole game is just a shit post. I think it is. <laughs> I would say it most... Which is very appropriate for Maxwell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because... Every one of his videos is like a shit, a shit post. Po is like a giant shit post, yeah. So he's playing a game that is the equivalent of one of his videos. <laughs> yes. Behold, mortal, for I am the object of thy quest, the beacon of hope. Um. For a millennia. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, behold, I am the thing that... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And that is why the Jews did it. Uh, did what again? He said juice. I know. <laughs> but, but... It didn't sound right. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know the juice did it. O.J. Simpson, right? The juice is loose. And he did it. And planned my niece's birthday party. Oh, okay. It was outside some asshole's apartment building. Bog business is a really nice level. I like the part where the video stays monetized. I think I might have uh, figured out where the swamp step is from. It's time to clean the urinals at double the speed. This level is just a really fun time, which is why everyone at the farm is so happy to be alive. Miyazaki t t really outdid himself with this one. Oh. Heading through the swamp and into the shrimp dimension, we find ourselves on the precipice of a dark and mysterious valley, veiled in a tapestry of terrifying secrets and even more terrifying answers. Something is out there, and someone is watching, observing our every move, examining me as I come 
cover the entire valley in feces. Heading deeper into the mines, we are overcome with the strong sense that something is profoundly amiss, and the workers are. D d what, what the fuck? These are the faces of evil. And in the darkest reaches of these twisted caverns, we uncover a dreadful secret never meant to see the light of day. Meat in this world is not grown, it is harvested. The earth itself lives and breathes, but most importantly, it feels pain. And it, and it likes it. Uh, hey man, nice to meet you. Now, uh, listen, I, I know it looks bad, but in my defense, it was really funny. I promise to you that my crumbing days are over. From this moment onward, I'll be sticking too. strictly to adult porn. Huh. Where have I heard that, that voice before? Do you play in it? Strictly to what? Oh, 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 you, you, mean, the, you mean the meat mine. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, don't worry. Damien? After all, there's nothing. No, no. I don't know who that is. We'll see a list at the end. We'll see if we notice any names. Thing you can do to reverse the process. So we reverse the process using Remington therapy, then navigate the vascular system all the way back to the beginning of the level, leading us to our fifth vacation of the video in a <laughs> respectable financial establishment, which I can be trusted to explore responsibly for the next eight hours. <laughs> Okay, so it was a little more than eight hours, but uh, I'm gonna break even soon. Just played the slots for ten hours straight and one hour gay. My favorite is the slot machine that uh, just just generates garbage. This casino also features the room with one of every enemy in the game that you will be going into. And, uh, and I forget what else there is. But that is okay, since this is basically the longest level in the game anyways. <laughs> I killed everyone in the fucking casino, so we gamble away my son's child's work, and because of our yeah. amazing returns in the waste industry, we are given invites to attend the annual Illuminati convention, where we get to wine and dine with all the world's billionaires and politicians before sacrificing the child. Welcome to the Idiot Party, a labyrinthine maze containing the best and brightest of the Orphan Blood fan club. God, I hope I get to see Mr. Beast before a Moloch demands my firstborn. Featuring such amazing attractions as the room designed for humans and the giant blender that fires you into space. But that is nothing compared to the main attraction of our wealthy guests, who are here to provide us with captivating insights into exactly how many children it takes to mine our cobalt. Can't wait to see what amazing life advice these Words of wisdom. guys uh, get up at five. Uh, journal. Be the owner of 95 properties. Okay, thank you. Sigma That's a uh, right set. Lesson uh, in Jesus dressing. Christ. Buy as many Funko uh, Pops as you can. There. Make the normies think you we aren't immortal. Ten rules for life. Oh God, they got him Tell too. Tell a guy to kill people. D okay, he I understand. I get it. I get it. Pointers and jointers. I, I, this is, this is awesome. Immortality is the best. I, I'm oh, just the pound. So much fun. Yeah. Wisdom for the system. Found a post of billionaire. Gaslight this shit. <laughs> so after taking our medication and restoring the light of God, we decide to ride the elevator as long as it takes, all the way up to the Neuron Activator, actual level name. The only mission in this Here, game to I'll give me a to piercing A little bit? Um, all right, I was actually starting to hurt a little bit. I'm like, is this because of the video or is it just doing that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say my my eyes are like I've had like allergies all day, but right now, I don't know. It's just like I can feel my like my frontal lobe literally overheating. The hands piercing migraine on the screen, and I'm like. Is that actually starting to happen? <laughs> like literally, I my processor, which is like right here, I can feel it overheating, mm -hmm. and I'm just like I'm like I'm already overclocking. Maybe it's just my face is starting to hurt from making the face of like what the fuck for too long at one time. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Jesus. Migraine, which, if you've seen this video, is really fucking impressive. From the seizure-inducing dance floor to the inverted nightmare maze with a demon inside of it, this oh. nightclub is designed from the ground up to hurt anyone with functioning eyeballs, and with enough time, reduce the number of functioning eyeballs. This presents a little bit of a challenge when you're up trying to see the enemies, so to reach our targets, we're going to have to be very precise and subtle. Proceeds to kill everybody. 
Today I will be opening a normal door and uh Okay, never mind. Really like the way the NPCs just uh to slowly gather around you in a circle. Really a makes me feel uh, to, so sacrifice. welcome and protected. Yeah. When the beat drops, I'm going to fucking oh kill myself. My God. Theory time. Oh God, the civilians no. are a writhing mass of flesh. I just, I Maybe just want to know where the bathroom is. You, you don't have to do this to I me. Boiled a baby alive into a thousand knots. So we liquidate every member of this godless cave, including the man behind it all, my, uh, Michael Jackson. I, I don't know why he moves. Like that. And after investigating his PC, we move on to the funny office level so I can organize a meeting between HR and the bullets in my gun. Welcome to Control Incorporated, the world's only it's Fortune like 500 company where the employees do not have pathfinding and will walk out the ninth floor. And today, we're going to be taking workplace harassment to the next level, starting by uh, clearing out the witnesses. This mission consists of many targets spread throughout the world's most ridiculous waste of real estate. Really gotta commend the devs for their uh, sick Roblox obby. My favorite part of the office oh is God. when they forgot to code Michael Scott's pathfinding and he... No, okay. If anybody had so this in Roblox, there'd be a bunch of kids that would be traumatized for life. Yeah, a lot of the kids would be basically just be sitting in the corners of their rooms just being like... Just being like hey Ooh. honey, why aren't you playing Roblox anymore? I'm not playing anymore. I'm done with Roblox. I don't want to play Roblox anymore. <laughs> Mommy, I don't want to play Roblox anymore. It's like, it's like, honey, why not? It's just, it's just like because Cruelty Squad is a normal game. Cruelty Squad is a normal game. Cruelty Squad is a normal game. <laughs> employees a big severance package. We decide that now is the time to go on strike, especially since I am 100% of the remaining workforce. My demands are simple. Let me kill Jeff Bezos. Taking the elevator in the center of the building. Oh, one day, we advance past the penthouse guards and accidentally back down. I'm gonna break back up. The fucking window. Do you have <laughs> any idea what you've just done? Do you even know who I am? I am the one entrusted by the Trigons to keep this world together. And you've been making my job very difficult. Uh, sorry? Sorry isn't going to cut it. I want this bitch's penis fucking exploded. This- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Why? Oh, now that I think about it, given everything that's happened so far, I get it. But no. Dimension is rotten to its core. Shoot me. What? Even if you kill me, you will change nothing. You cannot end immortality. But I can end you. Uh, where am I exactly? This is just like Gorbino's oh, quest. Hey, this is the Gorbino's quest. Hey, do you know what? This uh, is just like Gorbino's oh, quest. No. Oh no. This no, no, is no, the no. Gorbino's quest. I can't quest be here. This is just like <laughs> Can anyone, can anyone tell me what's going on here? This is just like Orbeano's quest. This is just like Dark Souls. I would say this is a, this is the point where I would pull out my secret nuclear weapon, pull the pin, throw it, and just be like, hey, this is just like Gorbino's quest. Interesting that you have a nuclear weapon so secret it activates by pulling a pin. Well, I would well I would throw it at people, but eh, who has the time for that? You have to have a pretty good arm to not catch yourself with it either way. Yeah, I'd need like one of those mini nuke launchers, just like. See, I see that being like a. A stupid comic is like, in retrospect, the nuclear grenades probably weren't the best ideas. No one was actually able to throw them far enough to be clear of the blast range. <laughs> it's like, instead, they came up with a launcher, and they came up with a launcher that was shoulder mounted, like so. Just aim far away, because next thing you know, you, you catch someone like aiming at a at a wall that's like twenty feet away. It's like, no. no Far away, like about 500 feet that way, and guys, like, all right, I got it. We're gonna take out that base four towns over from here. Are you ready? Let's go. Happy birthday! Woo! And everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare.
characters and then he fucking yeah. deletes all of them off the face of the like, like alright alright it took me a long time to finally get this thing to work but we're finally gonna launch and we're gonna blow those assholes up that have been giving us hell for like the last six months alright here you go hey kids wanna see a dead bite what <laughs> uh We did it, guys. We finally found the world's only video game, and all we had to do was t t the reality merge. Welcome to the Archon Grid, a horrifying plane of eternal torment sitting at the end of reality itself. Really love the opportunity to, uh, meet people. <laughs> and to get to the bottom of this twisted game, we're going to have to navigate a funny series of challenges from the hit popular video game t t Gorbito's Quest, which, by the way, increases the speed of the orange demon based on your FPS. And mine was 200, meaning this oh. level was three times harder than intended. Gambino's Best is a game made up of many mysteries, which the player has to solve while being pursued by Freddy Fazbear. I like the part of the movie where they uh, help a nice old man fit into his new suit. The only issue being that most puzzles are meant to trap you forever. That box ain't lying. Gorbino's Quest do be having 500 hours of mind-pumping action. So we make our way through the hordes of PS1 goblins, eventually. Then, about two minutes later, find ourselves fighting God. It's just like my favorite Japanese video games. <laughs> and after mounting him to a cross with no future consequences, we journey to the center of the Archon Grid to finally reset this rotten reality. Once and for all. <laughs> um, d d d excuse me? No, 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 I, what the fuck is this shit? Hey guys, Max are here, and, uh, and, and welcome to hell. At this point, I'm really starting to vibe with it, honestly. <laughs> yes, that is a common problem. What? No, 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 I, I specifically wanted to leave this place. <laughs> so, after killing the concept of death and eternally trapping our souls on this hellish plane, we acquire enough funds to purchase a normal house in a very welcoming neighborhood where we can relax and do all of the activities that normal humans do. Like, watch my favorite channel, open the fridge correctly, speak to the devil, and admire my 50 copies of Gor 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 Gorbito's Quest. Heading as far away from that place as possible and immediately fighting three gods, because that went so well last time, we noticed that all the water in the game has been tainted a blood red. This is a reference to, <laughs> to Neon Genesis Evangelion. Also, the game just lets me uh, change the blood color to something very suggestive. Uh, How's about we go into town uh, and uh, strike up a normal conversation? I follow the teachings of Fuckbro99. I don't know what I... I was yes. expecting. The strong decide the uh, you know what, never mind. This level is really fun. I like the part with the nine transparent flesh demons and the... Whatever that is. Hey there, buddy. It's great to see you. Not every day you could meet someone so ripe for purification. <laughs> what does that mean? Now we Shoot can him in the face. You beautiful. Like me. Well, I guess this is it. I have everything that I could ever want. Money? Power? Literal immortality? So much has changed, and yet I'm still just a pawn. Maybe I'll always be a pawn. No. Break free. I can't give up here. I've still got one target left. One is person who is always maybe there. Someone me. plotting from the shadows and yet so far away. And as long as I can find them, I've still got a way to change things. I still have hope. Well, guess we'll never know. So after finding the Dark Orb to unlock the super secret hardest difficulty... It's a metaphor for nihilism or some shit. Dottie the Screaming Cube is the final part of the game. We arrive back at the place where this mess first began. And to finally take out the source of this world's corruption, we're going to have to be a little bit creative. Because this world's corruption has an HP of several million. And also here... It makes you short. So, to defeat our final foe, we head deep into the Cruelty Squad catacombs, past the assortment of random enemies, and into the chambers of the Funny Golem, which, upon death, fires off a total of 1,000 flechettes into the room. 
Alt Axe Holy is a shit. very special weapon which scales its damage based on how much money you have in the stock market. And I just so happen to have a little bit of an index fund. You are nothing without me. I created Cruelty Squad. I created you. I own you. Oh shit, that was one shot. This looks like an interesting <laughs> level exit. Uh, no, no, please don't make me do this again. God fucking damn it. <laughs> This, uh, oh, this, this, this is not good for the YouTube bit right? Really, uh, really, really didn't want to hire an animator for this one, I guess. Uh, thank you? <laughs> this shit is making my head hurt. Why is it, why, why is it giving me actual good advice? <laughs> This is just a this is just a special fucking game, honestly. Wow. Wait, there's more. Yes, apparently there is. The final level of Cruelty Squad is a loop of endless trauma. A horrifying labyrinth of nonsensical rooms so named because of how many times I had to restart it. Trapped in this new and terrifying realm, we are stripped of our assets, our upgrades, and our sense of actual level design, forcing us to use all the mechanics that I forgot about 20 hours ago. This stage <laughs> is a place of chaos, a place of torment, where, much like the rest of the game, we are forced to adapt to the absolutely nonsensical. Also, we can reach the crazy of life and finally put an end to this twisted the whatever this shit is I'm die I am not paid enough to analyze this so despite being a little rough around the edges and uh, possibly untested before release trauma loop is the perfect encapsulation of what makes cruelty squad an amazing game with multiple equally insane routes mind-bending challenges and a headache inducing visual aesthetic that I can assure you is necessary for the game to function I have never experienced a game that was so equally fun as it was terrifying, and I definitely recommend that you play it. So, if you want to pick up Cruelty Squad and finally experience what Eco Death is like, then don't worry. I have already spoiled it for you. Seriously though, in a world of crazy graphics and even crazier development cycles, it's good to know that people are still making games with just a little bit of personality. I'm Max Orr, and this has been your guide to a late stage retinal damage. And as always, set goals, invest, wake up early, CEO, mindset. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Okay. I'm not gonna lie guys, like, he said late stage retinal damage. I'm not kidding. My eye did start to hurt part way through that. It quit now. But, like, I wasn't kidding when I said my eye was hurting. Like, well, it wasn't my, a joke. My brain isn't overheating anymore, thankfully. So I think I'm good. Yeah. Jesus, I man. I got kind of used to it by the last few chapters. I was just kind of like, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to play it <clears> at some point be honest i definitely want to play ultra kill ultra kill looks like a lot of fun i just i want to see i don't know i want to see what i think of it if i'm actually playing it you know like yeah this. so at some point i'm probably gonna try this i'll add it to the wish list okay at some point down the line well maybe i'll give a slight update short or something after i play it and let y'all know what i thought <laughs> good luck yeah, it looks, uh, this looks like quite something. No doubt. I got nothing else to say about this except for... a lot of something, really. Oh, Jesus. So, I got nothing else, y'all. This was Maxor with the Cruelty Squad video. Uh, hold on. Let's see if he actually lists off who all was in the video. Probably in the description. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, Pyrocynical. Uh, Jimothy. Uh, Uber Danger. Oh, Slime Sickle. Okay. Uh, Russian Badger. Which. Come on, dude. So out of the whole list, uh, list uh, Pyrocynical Badger and Slime Sickle are the only ones I think I really recognize. Yeah, same for me. They might have seen a couple of other ones, like in passing, but that's about it. <clears throat> well, I got nothing else. This this game looks like an epilepsy, like like an a tr epilepsy trip, the likes of which I probably would not recover from. JT definitely would not recover from this. 
I'm actually surprised. Like, if we show this video to JT, I'm pretty sure don't. his... Just don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his brain would be like that one Old Spice commercial. I'm pretty sure you'd go to jail for attempted murder if you showed this to JT. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Basically, this is what would happen. Blow your mind right in front of your face. This is what would happen if we showed JT this this video. Goodbye. Oh no! <laughs> I don't. Oh <laughs> no! It's one of my favorites of all time. It is easily one of my favorite commercials ever. Yeah. Just the just the. Just, just the teeth. Goodbye. Oh no! I don't. Keep I don't. I love that one so much. Oh, I love it so much. It's like he's trying so hard to speak, and it's just like you got you. I don't. Oh. Anyway, that's going to do it, everybody. So that was Maxor with uh, with Cruelty Squad. Jesus Christ. I got nothing else. This. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Be good people. Take care. Peace.